is all right, he's calibrating it. Oh my word. And that's him done. There was daylight under the wheels. It takes me back. <laughs> right guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Today I am just going down here to hook up the 155 to our dump trailer, which by the looks of it is absolutely full of water. It's just from picking it up on the hitch. I haven't opened the door yet. Yeah, there's a lot of water in there. The reason I'm sticking the dump trailer on this morning is we're going to clean out some of the pens in our beef shed. Um, I'll show you the system later on and why we've got to do it. They don't need cleaning out because they're full, but we need some muck in the midden to mix with some loose muck. I, it's, it's a complicated thing. But anyway, we want the dump trailer. We're gonna hook it up now. I need to find somewhere to tip out the water where I'm not gonna wash all the stone away. And uh, the job will be a good. Oh my word, look at it. That's a lot of water. So yeah, we need to find somewhere to tip it out not on the stone really because it will just make a big hole if i tip it out there right i've come down to the bottom of this track here um by the wood the water can just soak down into the wood i didn't want to tip it on stone because it just erodes the stone away but uh i forgot about gravity and a lot of it sort of came out the back when i was pulling up the hill but um we'll tip it out here a minute Right, that's less water than we started with, so we're gonna get some done. I believe the back door is on green. It is. Woo! Right, so we got the cattle shut back on the concrete there. They're all having a feed now because they've just been fed, so they'll be quite happy. There's four pens here we're gonna clean out. Um, the guys at the other end, they've not been in as long, so there's not actually that much straw bedding there. Um, but as I said, we don't, don't need to clean this out, really. It's not not up high with the gates like we would normally be cleaning it out. But every morning we scrape these passageways into these grids, um, which collects a slurry. There's in a channel under the concrete that goes out into this little slurry pit on the end here. Anything that doesn't go down the grid gets swept over into a pile here and we pick it up with a bucket. And here is the slurry pit that you would have seen in one of the previous videos that the slurry ends up in. Um, when this gets full, we have to take it somewhere. At the minute, I've been sucking out the water and putting it in a different pit and then the solids will go into our midden where we take the sloppy stuff here that doesn't go down the grids every day as well as some of the muck from the dairy shed at the top um, that we do the same thing, we drive it up against the wall, pick it up, take it to the midden. Now that works fine, but this time of year there's no straw muck in the midden. We completely emptied it last autumn, um, which in hindsight was a bit of a mistake because we've got nothing to mix it with. There's sloppy muck like that in a concrete midden, of course it just runs out the front. The, um, the midden is slightly tapered to the front so that any of the liquid goes down into grills and is caught in tanks. But um, yeah, that's why we're doing this. We want some solid muck that we can stack on one side of the midden so that when we take a bucket full of sloppy stuff around every morning like we do, we've got something to mix it with and it's not just running out the shed. So uh, yeah, John's gone to get the handler. We've got the 155 and the dump trailer freshly emptied of all the water. She uh, could do with a bit of a wash, but looking good. As you guys have seen, the, the wheels have started to rust in places, which is a bit annoying. Is this the bad one? No, it's the other side. Look at that. That is not good. It's all flaking. So um, we'll have to get that in and sand it down and we'll prime it and repaint it at some point when we get a chance. Be a good winter project. I have to do it relatively soon because we're going to be starting calving after Christmas before you know it. But yeah, John's gone to get the handler. So what we'll do is we'll fill up the dump trailer and then he'll bring a bucket full around and as we tip it out, he'll push it up. And we'll have this done in no time, hopefully. Shouldn't take too long. We're not gonna be too precious about it, getting every last little bit. Um, so we just want it to mix in the midden. And that is today's plan. Yes. 
John's just loading us up with the second one. It's about three big bucketfuls to fill the trailer. Whilst I was tipping the first load there, John had a couple of spanners out of the toolbox and took off that brush that was in the way. Um, one of the cow scratching brushes, all the other gates are shut back around so they got the brushes but the end one, um, the brush was out into the dung still so it was in the way. Big old steaming bucket of muck. He gave us the nod, so we're off. We made a dent in the shed already, there were two loads. We'll have to take these posts out in a minute so we can get it there, get it this side a bit easier. Oh, that's heavy. How solid are you? I'm not going to get you up. They call me some boy Josh. Yeah, we're, we're nearly halfway. Another couple of loads. Now, winter time means the mat is out. No carpet in the tractor. Probably ought to get rid of the dog bowl because he ain't going to be in here for a while either. Just makes it a bit easier to clean because we're all getting in, in and out with wellies instead of work boots and yeah. We're in the muck all the time now. So the cunning plan we've come up with is I'm going to tip the dung in the trailer out on the side over here, this side of the bales. John's going to bring a bucket full round every load and tip over there, which is like a pond of slurry at the moment, and mix it as he goes. So hopefully that will be mixed up by the end of the morning when we've cleaned out. And we'll have some solid stuff over here to mix going forward. It's a plan that cannot fail. I don't know why. This trailer tips up incredibly quick takes an absolute age to come down. I don't know whether John is showing off, but he is that good at driving the handler, he can unhand gates. Look at that. How you doing, cows? I'm gonna get you some clean sheets. What do you reckon? They're good? Yes. Walk a bit in the corner there, you have to back in to get that bit. There's another post here we need to take out. But I think he's solid. I think that'll be a that'll be a manitou job. Look at you guys, you're spoiled. You haven't been shut out your bed. What's going on? Hey big Yeah, straw we've got at the moment for bedding. We're just just started uh, on the barley straw and it's like matchsticks this year I think because it was so dry it is so brittle when it's been baled it just um, comes out the straw top of like dust so it doesn't actually as you can see these guys here this morning have been bedded up doesn't actually do as good a job as say some straw that might have been slightly damp but that's what we've got so that's what we use just whilst I'm waiting for John to come back with the handler, these guys have moved on to hay, so these two pens of cows here are actually empty, they're not in calf, but we're gonna run them around and um, put them to the bull again in May. So they're just on some hay. Um, we don't want them to get fat, because a fat cow is not a good. And then also here, we've got Horny and her mates. They're also on hay. These guys are in calf, but they're right at the end of the block. Um, so what we're doing is we're feeding them hay for now just because otherwise it means bringing the wagon in here to feed one pen. Um, and then when the when we need to later on, we'll put them onto a bit of a better diet with some silage. But um, they're a long way off carving yet, so they don't need anything too special. Peppers are growing nicely, so these will all go to the bull in May. There's three pens here. There are some steers mixed in with them, some that will um, fatten up. And then we've got our finishers, as we call them. So these guys will be finished over the winter and be sold fat. And then the techno boys that we're cleaning out, they're, um, they're on the same ration as the ones next door, so hopefully they're growing away. 
Beautiful bit of silage. Anyone that's wondering what they're getting fed, so these guys are on some first cut round bale silage. A bale of hay goes in the wagon with it. They're getting half a kilo of wheat distillers per head. They're getting a kilo of sugar beet per head. Um, and then they're also getting it made up to what their daily intake will be um, with pit silage. Now our pit silage isn't actually that good this year. A lot of people apparently are in the same boat, so they're having to buy in energy and protein, which is what the uh, sugar beet and wheat distillers are for. Um, we've got three different pits of silage. They're all quite low in protein. We think it's just the weather that we had um, when we made the silage this year. Let it down. Here he comes. Yeah, hold on, it's on steak. Steak and eggs? Yeah. I had a, a brunch bar and a bowl of music. Cheese on Cheese on oh, That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah. Steak and eggs <laughs> Right, we managed to get the second post out. So John's got a bit more to go out in there now. Get out his legs, I don't want to be flattened. There you go, old bugger of so This is our dump trailer, it's a Marshall. They must have gone through a stage of buying only Marshall trailers here. It's got this little Tilly Pass certificate on the side. LED lights look for lovely job. Uh, and yeah, we don't really use it that much other than doing this job and well yeah, this job really. Now it is a lengthy commute, so I might say. I'm just kidding, it's not a lengthy commute at all, it's 30 seconds around the corner, but it just means we can move the dung an awful lot quicker with two of us than one of us on our own. Told Abby we'll go to the Christmas markets this evening. She wants to go. <clears throat> she wanted to go last night, but it was raining, and I wasn't for getting stuck in the rain. England are playing Wales tonight in the football. So if we go to the Christmas markets, we have the excuse that we need to be back early to watch the football. Right, we've got the shed empty. So John's behind me here in the middle, he's just taking the bucket off. We've got all the sloppy stuff in the corner there that we've been putting there for the last couple of weeks or a few weeks that the cattle have been in. And then on this side, we've got everything I've been tipping, all the solid stuff. So now, as we're going along, we can um, make some of the sloppy stuff with the dry stuff, and it'll be a lot easier. What we need to do next year is make sure we leave a pile like that in one of the corners so that we've got something to mix for this time of year when we don't have any dry stuff. So. John's just putting the bale spikes on. He'll go back in there and grab three round bales and bring them over the shed and we'll roll them out. If you haven't already seen, um, I did finally pull my finger out and made myself an online shop or a website. So if anybody wants merchandise, such as the hat I'm wearing, the hoodie I'm wearing, um, or there will be some new stuff coming just before Christmas, then the link will be in the description. Go have a look at the new store and let me know any of your thoughts, if there's something I need to add to it, if there's any ideas that can make it better, I'd love to hear them. <laughs> <laughs> he was only making one trip. He'll squeeze himself through the door. Right, now that uh, job's done, I don't know what John's going on with, I'm going to put my tools back in my tractor. I'm going to take this trailer over to the other farm so it can go under a shed roof over there 
is it does it absolutely no good sitting outside collecting water because um, you can't really leave that one tipped up. It's got to be tipped vertical to keep the water out of it. We'll take it over the other farm. You can go under a shed roof then. I'll do it a lot better than sitting outside. Oh, this is textbook. There's handy little shed here beside our science farm. So Phil's over here most of every day, bedding, feeding, all the animals are over here. We've got a little shed there where we keep some hay, and I think the plow, the topper, power harrow, and now the dump trailer is here. So it just keeps them indoors, keeps them out of the yard at home, keeps them out of the way, but also secure. So there's someone here all the time. It's 12.57, which means I have three minutes to get home for lunch. Right, back home now. Got a little bit of time this afternoon, so I'm just gonna give this a proper good wash. Gotta give a bit of a polish up. Uh, I'm gonna speak to Craig about the wheels, because I really want to respray them. But um, I'll have to get the paint together and probably have to sand them down a bit first and prime them before respraying them. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna give this a clean. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not already subscribed to the channel, then please do so completely free have a look down in the description for all my other social links as well as the link for the new shop if you've got any thoughts about the shop then please let me know um obviously i've never made one before so i don't really know what i'm doing but uh yeah thank you very much for watching we'll see you in another video very soon cheerio